Hey there, Rubus Forever here. Excuse the weather, but I'm filming this in England. This is a little bit on the late side, but I doubt anyone here is here to stay up to date with the latest box of goth. This will be the last one of these I cover for the foreseeable future, since, well, they cost 26 quid. And with the low views my channel is getting at the moment, I need to reduce the impact this hobby is having on real life. Since Vegas malfunctioned a while back, I'm currently paying for an Adobe sub, which despite the continued support from my couple of Patreons, I don't come close to covering. I'm also having to pay for online backup due to storage limitations, though I've got to say thank you Microsoft OneDrive, you were there when I needed you. Either way, cutting back on the box of Goff will enable me to sort out the storage sooner, and then to pay off the Adobe Mafia for this software I've barely used on account of fixing my issue with Vegas, literally the day after signing up with Adobe. So yeah, less box of Goth equals more storage, which should eventually mean I can pay off Adobe, or by that time have just run out naturally from my subscription. That aside, in the future I would look into other boxes and such. I don't mind the idea of opening a box of crap each month and being formally disappointed, but for now I think it makes more sense to shelve this and double down on the game related stuff, especially whilst I'm getting the occasional keys sent my way, which all helps with them pennies, at least until the devs currently sending me keys come to their senses. I mean seriously, where were these people when I was still getting views? Anywho, welcome to a very late, very last box of goth. Okay, so welcome to uh, this last box of goth. Let's actually let's start by saying this one came with this attached to it, which is pretty nice. A little card. I'm not sure if it has any use, but sort of like an extra thing. I'm surprised they didn't put it. Hang on. N no, I'm not surprised they didn't put it in there. It doesn't fit. I think if that had have fitted. That would have been in the box. Anyway, you get a piece of card with the atoms on it. And I can do my obligatory can't open the box thing. I think anyone that does anything like this has to has to do a fair amount of. Come on you. There you go. Okay, so Item one, uh, some stripy socks. You got some, I don't know, is this cat hair already attached? I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's not so bad there, it's only on the outside, which makes me think that this is from packaging rather than manufacture. Do they look? I can't tell if that's a synthetic hair or um, a pet hair, but either way, if it's part of the manufacture of the socks, then they're coming coming pretty loose. So yeah, some socks. Maybe they'll work out really good. Maybe they won't. I suppose that's loosely related in terms of theme because of the black and white stripes that Tim Burton and Adam's family and everything does quite a lot of. Now this is... Um, it's sort of like a coaster that you can wear around your neck. I guess this is in case you need uh, you need a coaster whilst you're out. It's a perfectly serviceable coaster. Not entirely sure if uh, I'd wear it, especially not because it's coming a bit loose, and also the way it looks. But another item that uh, another item that I don't really have any warm feelings towards. Okay, a, a, the thing, or it, I can't remember, it's one of those, one of those sorts of words. Pin, I quite like that. I can stay on the win side. And you know what, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna prejudge the socks. They go on the win side too. Wednesday Adam's face, not so much. I got a bit of string. Come on. There you go. We To live without you? Only that would be torture. A day alone. Only that would be death. I think I need to um I think I need to rewatch the film to understand that in context. My brain at the moment can't even understand it. So I'm gonna put that in the um not so much pile for now. I mean, I'm sure I've said that at least once in life. I think that... It's it's a fridge magnet. Okay, I mean, that could 
you know, that could be something I, I might have bought at some point in life. This is lip safe, but whether or not it's an eyeshadow or a lip gloss, but they're sort of slightly redundantly stating it is lip safe because you know you'd expect your lip gloss to be lip safe, which is a shame for all those people in the past that had lipsticks full of arsenic. Hey, <laughs> nearly punched out the camera then. Okay, so I was worried this was just a hand riddle. Okay, eyeshadow, I'm guessing. It's a grey, I'd probably use that. Ta da! In fact, let's give it a tiny smear. Hmm. It's a bit weak. And that was quite the dip. Okay, well, I'll just proceed with the rest of this video. Um, so I've got some sort of problem with my hand. Oh, hey now! This is more of what I expected all along. Except it's got a bit of a crappy clasp. They always end up pinching. And it's pinching my skin already. But, you know, not bad. If it was like proper silver instead of plastic, like you might get on one of those uh, machines that are outside shops, where you put 20p in, I'd be more impressed. But, you know, I'll own that until it falls apart. A Tim Burton lolly. Let's see if I can eat that. They state the, the um, lip powder? <laughs> the eye powder is uh, vegan, but they don't state whether or not the lolly is. At least not here. I'll have to have a look at the other information. Either way, you know, I'm going to hesitantly put that in the positive pile. Another gloved hand badge. This is the second one of these. This one obviously having more uh, relevance because of the little hand fellow in the Adams Family. I mean, okay, that can go in the like pile, even though if you listen to my tone you would assume it's not necessarily a like. Here's a card that sums up my general attitude towards the box of goth. How very apt. And they're the people that make the eyeshadow I will reserve judgment on. Nice big Uncle Festa sticker. I'm down with that. That's a definite like. I'll hold that in a few deferring lighting conditions. Okay, so Pugsley Tribute Socks, yes. Uncle Festa face sticker, yes. Cousin It Enamel Pin. Yes. Wednesday fake necklace. Yes. Disappointingly. Wednesday tombstone eyeshadow. Yes. Wednesday card designed. And oh, it's alright. I mean, the neck's a bit strange, but I mean, it's alright. Stylistic. Morticia and Gomez print. Yep. Quote fridge magnet. Yep. Thing pin badge. Did I see the lolly? No, I didn't. I'm slightly worried now that the lolly's just for me, and they've seen my previous videos on books of golf, and maybe they're going to poison me to death. My instructions have fallen off. <laughs> Ingredients. Oh, and that's a mood ring. There we go. But I don't have the ingredients for the lolly, so <laughs> for health reasons, that's going to be a no from me. But I'll stick it in a thing, and it'll look a bit, you know unusual. So, yeah, um, definitely not quite the uh, value for money that I perhaps unrealistically expected it to become, but what I will do is get some pretty sweet Necron scenery out of these boxes at some point. So in clothing, in clothing, oh, hang on, is there anything in here? No. So in closing, um, if you're a bit of a goth you might like this sort of thing, alternatively you might not. But either way, thanks for watching.